What's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Duck back with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you ain't already done that. But if you have, thank you so much. If you or anybody you know want to promote on our channels, which we've been helping a lot of people promote their products, books, whatever it is they got going on, just go to papaduckpromo at gmail.com and leave us an email. Now listen, all right, some came across my front desk, right? I have been saw this a while ago, but I'm glad it came back across my front desk because I wanted to say something about this. This is about in Indiana where they have these drop boxes off of um, um, parents that want to drop their kids off. And they, you know, instead of putting them in dumpsters and in front of people's doors, they got these drop boxes. And all uh, these drop boxes have, they, they temperature regulated, they have sensors in them um, that alert people or alert authorities or whoever that there's a baby in the drop box, right? And my thing is this. Uh, when you living in a dictatorship like we live in today, why would people want to get rid of kids? Or why would people want to do these things? Why? Because the people that's running this motherfucking world or the people that's running this government, this whole construct, they're not in the business for making your life easier, okay? It's crazy how people can't even conceive and have kids because of living conditions, not having money, not having resources. This is a dog eat dog world and they train us all to be this way. You talking about being born in a world where all the motherfucking uh, elites are super mega rich, got all the resources and you are left behind to try and catch up. People don't even think about this. Like it's just a, if you got it, you got it, you don't, you don't world. And that's crazy. Everyone don't think the same, hustle the same. Everyone don't have the same outlook on life. We all have our own special abilities. But if it doesn't align with the way the world is, you're going you're gonna to get left behind. And people don't notice that. In China, they had this one-child policy where you can only have one child. Why? Because some motherfucker said that it's too many people. It's just... It's just uh, it's, one thing I've realized in this world, it's... it's it's always been dictatorship. There's, I don't, and I'm not gonna say that I, 100 true, but for me, all my research going back, it's always been a group of people trying to control another group of people, and they use religion to do that. You know, they use different classifications, education, they use everything under the sun to promote these things amongst people, and when you think about it. We the people have all the power. I do my videos the way I do them because I want people to realize you're being told what to do, when to do it, how to do it, when all we have to do as people is come together. People are literally dropping their babies off in boxes, giving them up. And, 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 and like I said, it's always, see a war ain't just people shooting guns at each other. A war is two sides that disagree. You're gonna always have one side agree and one side to disagree, and they use that against us. I told y'all a million times. It's called silent weapons for quiet wars. So one side gonna say, well, don't do that, and another side gonna be like, well, shit, I can't afford it. Then another side gonna say, well, you shouldn't lay down and do this, and another side gonna say, well, shit, look what they promoting all day on TV and radio. This is the devil's playground. You know what I'm saying? Point of, uh, point of, uh, fornication and deceit cheating and lust and all this shit all this stuff that you don't control I be trying to tell people bro if you think about it man the people that run the world to us is fucked up to them it's going according to plan you know what I'm saying it's going according to plan I'm just being honest like think about it these people do not want to make the world a better place if they did we wouldn't have to pay for shit we live in a world where we have to pay for stuff. If you can't pay for your rent, you're on the streets. Then these people that, they just give up. You know what I'm saying? You have people that turn to drugs. You have people, man, it's just, man, oh my God. Bro. And you got people sitting here literally waiting, right? For God to come back and to, to just save everything, Right? And like I said, I don't get in the middle of nobody's religion. You believe what you want to believe, you know. But I just don't think God gave you common sense for nothing. Because I keep telling you, the motherfuckers around the world, they not waiting on no fucking body. 
And they the one that's promoting it. Saying, wait, oh, this gonna happen. You know what I mean? Christianity the only religion where you gotta die to go to heaven. You gotta lead this bitch to go somewhere that ain't now bitch went and came back and told you how it was. See, all this stuff be just off fear. And I told y'all, man, you have to be past the flesh to stomach some of the stuff I say. I'm, I'm, I, and they don't think I don't I don't worship no damn devil Man ain't make the sun or the moon I worship a energy A higher power man The most high God is everything You know what I'm saying So I mean it's just all about respect Don't don't And that's why I don't do cults Because as soon as you don't Believe in what they believe in You're an outcast And you could be the most righteous person in the world that's why I don't get tied up in cults and groups and all this shit. Because as soon as you don't worship what they worship, you're an outcast. You know? This don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense to y'all neither. A lot, a lot of people go with stuff. They, 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 they don't research. They don't care to know the truth. They're afraid. They're scared. The fuck you scared of? I be telling people, you can't be scared to live and scared to die. That shit don't make no sense. What I say, man, I cut through life like butter because I don't have no regrets. I don't do nobody wrong. My energy that goes out is 100% positive. You know what I'm saying? I still am human, of course. But overall, people around me are affected by my energy in a good way. When people say certain words, I say, no, 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 don't say that. And I tell them why. And it's up to them to, you know, change that or not. All I'm saying is this. We need to understand that a lot of the issues we have are socialized issues or uh, dictatorship issues. You know, people don't commit crimes because they like to commit crimes. <clears throat> you have a very few maybe that do that, but it's conditions. You have a thing called uh, survival mode. That shit is decoded in your DNA. If you trap an animal in a corner, he's going to fight back. If you trap a human in the corner, as far as like, gotta pay the rent, or family gonna be on the streets, or I gotta eat, you're gonna go in survival mode. A lot of people don't think about this type of shit. And if you so godly, or if you are a godly person, with all due respect, think about this. God didn't put us here to do to, to live the way we live, to have to pay bills and insurance. And you know, you know, banking is ran by families. Money ain't fall out the sky. They always put, oh, this oh, in God we trust. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. You really think God intended for us to live like this? This is why every time I see a preacher, pastor, whoever, you know, just taking the church's money and him and his wife living lavish, designer clothes and all that, and people literally sit and don't say nothing because they think that, oh, that God will handle him. God gave you common sense, bro. Stop being afraid. You know. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Yes means yes, no means no. That's it. But I ain't want to get on here about that. I just want to show y'all that people are the way that we live and the conditions that we're put placed under, right? Forces us or coerces us to make these decisions. And we're the ones to blame. Again, I go back to the hunter and the wolf. I'ma say this say I'ma say this story a hundred times. If a hunter put blood on the blade and stick it in the ice and a wolf walk up and lick it thinking he eating but he cut his tongue now he keep licking 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 thinking he eating but he really eating his own blood until he kills himself you cannot blame the wolf for trying to eat you have to blame the hunter for putting the blood on the blade the government is the hunter okay the elites is the hunters they lie to us about taxes they lie to us about money they give us little to no education and drop your ass off in the middle of nowhere and expect for you to survive. This is a setup. Okay, they will not give you the tools to overthrow them. They won't give you the tools to play the game properly. They won't give you the tools or the knowledge to sit on a level playing field. It, it, it never happens. My lawyer told me a long time ago, if two people walked away from a deal unhappy, that was a good deal. I never understood that. Until he explained to me, he said that because neither one of them got what they wanted. They got what they both deserved. So if one walked away with 70% and one walked away with 30, uneven playing field. So again, no matter how much schooling and stuff you go to, 
you know, it, it takes common sense and it takes the shit that they teach you. You have to put them both together to learn this whole game. You know what I'm saying? Because I keep trying to tell you these people will not give you the proper knowledge or education to, to, to play properly in the games that they have set forth for us, which we call the game of life. So instead of having your child play high and go seek, having them play Monopoly, having them play cash flow. I can show you what uh, all white um, communities, right, was having um, uh, like game night on weekends with their kids, playing Monopoly, playing cash flow, games that is going to get them and prepare them for the world financially. And this is not like, I ain't going to say this is a color thing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's. I don't want to get caught up in all that shit, but y'all get what I'm saying. As a black person, we are the we are the ones on the bottom of the totem pole because everybody hates us. We even hate ourselves. We don't stick together. We don't we don't support each other. None of that shit. But on the overall scale, as people, we are all fucked up. Okay, what color you are? Because we're all living under this construct or this of this dictatorship. You pay taxes. You go to work. Woo -woo -woo. Yes, but that doesn't make it equal on a on on a level. See, this shit levels, and this is how they classify certain things and it, and it separates us so as blacks we fucked up but as people we all fucked up you know and just because you work like i work doesn't it's not the same you know because of color and because of ethnic and all this other shit like y'all get what i'm saying so don't get caught up in that shit but anyway i just want to throw this video at y'all let y'all see how things are unjust and that people make these decisions based off the motherfuckers that's running the world okay us, the people, need to regain all our power and say the hell with it all. This lifetime. This lifetime. So with that being said, um, if I offended anybody, you know I say I'm sorry as a man. That's not my intentions. I use my platform so we all can learn from each other. I learn from y'all. Y'all may not agree with everything I said, but what I'm saying is this, man. I'm going to keep speaking about this dictatorship because that's one question no one wants to address. All these fake ass politicians, these fake ass presidents, and these fake ass vice presidents. It's all a fucking game. And remember, these people wouldn't be in that position if they wasn't carrying out the agenda. Now, don't that make sense? Like I tell y'all all the time, you made this for in the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all for letting me be heard. And also, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I'll holler at y'all on that video.